Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I want to talk to you about the big, medium, small characters and how I'm going to walk you through the static poses. I'm going to show you how to change the poses, and I'm also going to show you how to change their outfits as well. And on top of all that, Big Medium Small supplies you with Mixamo FBX files that we can import into Mixamo and get even more poses than what we're supplied with. And today I'm going to be using Mech Squad and post apocalyptic characters. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up the master file of the big, medium, small Mech Squad characters. And they have pilots rigged blend. Okay, so we're going to open that. Okay, I'm going to go into layout. And here it'll show you what we have. We have the male and the female pilot from the kit. And we can turn on the shading. And it looks pretty cool. Um, here I can turn these off so these characters look good. Okay, so first things first, if you want to take them out of their static poses, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the actual player. So we got root one. Click on this again. So here's root one. Here's root five. These are the two players. So root one, you can click on. That's the female pilot. You see the bone structure and you see the the setup, the poses. So you're going to go down here to the object data properties of the little guy posing. And basically, you're going to go right here to the posing library, which is right here. And then what you can do is you can go to idle one and hit the magnifying glass and it'll change the pose. Now I can turn off this here and then I can go through the poses one at a time and check out what pose I would like to use and so on. So you get the idea here's a sitting pose and then as you go down here you get all the different poses that she has. Here's a climbing one for a ladder, another ladder. Um, this one says repairing, repairing two and then just, I guess, chilling out and another chilling. So these are the poses that come with the model. And then, like I said, you can always go to the next route. And under the, the little guy running here would be the pose library. And this is the male pilot and the same thing works for him. Click on each idle pose, hit the magnifying glass. There's a walk and there's a sit. And there's a sit two and sit three and sit four okay and so on and so on so you can get your your pose right out of here and then what you would do is if you wanted the static pose of a sit or a walk you know well, what what I would do is here's a chilling down here is yeah let's make an easier one like just an idle pose like that's pretty good so what I would do now is at this point I would take um, if I'm happy with the poses, which I am, then the next thing I would do is I would probably click on this here, this person here um, on the root here, probably select uh, the whole the whole thing and then go to convert to mesh. And then I'm going to unparent which is parent and then I want to clear and keep transformation and then I'm just going to click on the, the bone structure and delete that and then I'm going to select the whole girl again S select the whole thing right click and hit join and then there you have a, a static pose and then you would just you know copy this person out of your scene and paste it into the scene that you would want to use that's one way of doing this now let's open up another file and we're not going to save this one which are pretty cool I like these characters a lot these are set up a little differently so we're in a layout of one we'll come over here and okay this one works a little differently because down here you have your scene collection you want to go to the view the layer so I'm going to pull this out here Make this guy up a little bit. So this one has the AR rifle. Let me turn the textures on. So right now it's D4 
is the one that's lit up. So that's this that that's this officer here. So I can turn off the AR. I can turn him. Uh, I believe I can turn him off here. And then here's the D3, which is the. I guess this is the. Yeah, this is the guy with the flamethrower. And you can turn him off. And then D2, I believe, is the other surgical or the other specialist in here, the gas masks. And then we have not the last one is the whoops, you turn this one off here. And turn this guy off. There you go. And then you have the suit. Same rules apply to this one. If you click on just the guy and then you click on the running guy and you open the pose library, go down to here, you got pose one, pose two, pose three, and these are the idle poses. Like I said, once you get the pose that you want, convert the mesh, unparent, delete the bones, parent it back up, and then join. So you're good to go. So I'll run this by again. So we're going to keep it like this one. So I'm going to select this entire hierarchy. And I'm going to go up to object and I'm going to go to convert to mesh. And then I'm going to right click and go parent, clear and keep transformation. I'm going to get rid of the bones and just hit delete. And then I'm going to select all these right here and then right click and hit join. And there is my character right there ready to go. Open another file and we're going to go to the characters rigged again. Except this time I'm just going to turn off the AR gentleman. I'm going to put on the scientist guy and we're going to turn on the textures here and I'm going to click on that right there I'm going to roll this up and I'm going to go to shader editor and down here you'll see green dirt and you'll see green clean you'll see red dirt and red clean so if you just take this red clean and drag it to the surface his suit will turn red now he's got a red suit and then there's a, a yellow dirt and a yellow clean and a bright green dirt and a bright green clean. So basically, if you want, you can just drag the shader down. Whoops. I'm trying to get it down here. And then you can just start picking like, there's the yellow. Here is the bright green, which is looking really cool, you know? And then uh, there is bright green clean and there's dirty. Uh, yellow clean, yellow dirty, like I said, just move your your output to what you want it on. You can put it on red dirt. And that's pretty cool. You know? And then there's boots. Um, the boots are yellow. You can, uh, I believe you can change them too. I guess you go into here. These say D1 boots. There's four characters here, so uh, you could try going to maybe D2 boots which they are different they look nicer so now you got a black guy you know you got black boots with the yellow tips now and once again once this guy's also still you know you can select him at any time and change his pose you know and then what you would do is like i said you would go to you would select the whole hierarchy and then you would convert him to mesh and then you would right click and unparent him and then just take the bones and delete them and then shift click all these guys here and then right click and hit join and there you have there you have your man ready to take out and put into the scene okay very very cool right so one more thing that's really cool about these characters other than the static poses that they come with is I'm going to shut this down I'm not going to save it and I'm going to go to Mixamo, and it's probably going to have to have me log in. I haven't been in for a while. Oops, I don't need to create an account. I need to sign in. 
There we go, and there we go. Okay, what's great about this now is here's our guy imported into the Mixamo, and all I really have to do is click on one of these poses here, and he will take this pose on. So there's the pose. Is that fantastic or what? So you have so many poses. They have a lot more poses in this library that just comes with um, with the kit itself. You can have them in gunfighting poses and you can pause them. Uh, you can take a look at the, the pose that he's in. Um, you can, the character arm space, you could space it out so he's not so much touching his face. Um, and there's just so many poses up here. There's combat, adventure, sport, dance, fantasy, superhero. I mean, anything you really want to do. And the thing that how this works is you want to upload a character. You can click here and it says you got to drop the FBX OBG, OBJ or the zip in here. So basically, I want to go to my big, medium, small uh you know, we can go to the mech squad and uh, we can go to characters and FBX and here's pilot male Mixamo. And then here's the pilot female Mixamo. So he includes the Mixamo files in here. So all you do is grab the Mixamo file and drop it in and let it load up and do its thing. Which it'll upload the character and then it'll process it and it should automatically recognize the entire bone structure and the rig setup from the FBX file. And what that will do is it'll match it up to the Mixamo and it'll, you know, have your character match up with everything. And any kit that you get from big, medium, and small, um, they supply you with the, the Mixamo FBX files for every character. So you're not stuck with just the static poses that it comes with, or, you know, you're not just really stuck with just the poses, period. I mean, you can actually rig them up yourself, but if you're lazy like me, you can go use the static poses that they have, or you can come to Mixamo and you can really search through these packs and kind of, you know, tweak the kind of fucking setting you want to do here. Excuse my French. But anyway... These are all animated, so you you will take this character and you will download the animated version of the F, FBX, and then you'll import it into Blender. And then when that happens, you'll just pause it at the right time, and then that'll be your pose. So right here is the review. It says press next to confirm your uploaded character looks good, and like she's twisting, like everything looks legit. So I'll hit this and say replace the character that's in here now. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and there we have it. So now we have our new pilot, and we can have her taunting you. <laughs> you know, you can spin it around and watch her. And like I said, this is combat, the genre. Um, there's really so many um, different kinds of poses that you can use, and you just click on it, and there you go. There's a floating pose. Uh, here's a kick to the groin. <laughs> so basically, I mean, it's pretty cool. If we if we put, uh, I'll put agony, and you can get like you know this right here, and you know, pretty cool stuff. And then you can pause it, pause the pose, um, and then you say, I want to download this, and you say with the skin and everything and all the frames, you say download. And it's going to prepare your FBX with the animation to be downloaded. And you basically can save this anywhere you want to save. So it's telling me to save it right here. So I'll just save it right here. And once it's saved, I can close out of, out of Mixamo. And I'm going to launch my Blender right up here again. <clears throat> and then I'm going to import the FBX. And here is, it's called Agony. It's actually the name of it. And I just drop it in. And there's my import. Now, basically, all I do is I hit the space bar and it'll play the animation. 
And what I'll do is I'll take the animation and let's see down here, we'll go to timeline, I'll rewind it, I'll play it and I'll say I'll like it just like when, just like that. So at that point, I'll come up to here and what I'll do is I'll select over here um, the hierarchy and then I'm going to go down to convert to mesh and then I'm going to go to um, parent clear and transform and then I'm going to grab the root there and delete that out and then I can select all these again and then right click and hit join and then there I have my character with the proper pose ready to go I mean it's 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 that simple right out of the scene so then you basically you know you're gonna copy her out of this scene here and paste her into the scene that you want to do next so that's how I've been working and it's been pretty cool and it works really well so I hope this video helped you out and if there's any questions please leave them in the comments I'll try and answer them and produce more videos to help you guys out to show you how to use the characters man okay thanks for watching and have till next time have a good night take care